So, Marius, at last I find you. Terio. Yes. Yes, now. Now I recognize you. you. I should have known you traveled in disguise. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes. It was... It was the Wanderer. My days in the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts high in the mountains past the Eastern Gate. of the monastery and the evil which it claimed dreams, memories I couldn't tell the difference anymore had the evil from my dreams followed me at my heels how had he followed me here. How could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? seemed to, to have demons of his own he struggled to contain <laughs> convinced that I was truly mad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream or were they born within the wonder?
Why did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. Alright, so welcome to Diablo 2, the Resurrected Edition version thing. You know, the expensive one that uh, Blizzard released a while back from the uh, the old game, the old Diablo 2. I was uh, thinking about buying the old version, but I noticed it was still 20 euros combined with the expansion. So I thought, well... Let's let's just buy this one. It looks better. There's there's a few luxuries of life added to it. You can reset skills, which in the old edition you couldn't. So let's um, yeah. So I made a decision to do this. So let's make a character. So we have seven characters to pick from. The Amazon, the Assassin, Necromancer, Barbarian, Paladin, Sorcerer, and Druid. And I'm going for the Druid. Now, if you want to know how it looked quite some years ago, I, I played this game. What was When was it? it was it. Uh, when was the old one released? Was it like 1999 or something? Maybe 2000. It was quite a while back. Maybe. No, I, I, I played it when I was still at the elementary school. I think it was 2000 or 2001. One of those, at least. Uh, so I played it quite a while back and it looked, I thought it looked really awesome back then. It was so cool. Amazon was my favorite character with, the, with using the bow. Oh, I love to play with her. Now, it looks even better. You know that. I think, oh, maybe the old model looked. Might just look a little bit cooler, the old one. That doesn't matter. So I asked my wife, and she said, well, you should play a druid, which can transform into wild beasts. And it can transform in bears. We're going to play hardcore. Uh, I'm not confident with, uh, with this game enough to go for hardcore on my first try again since, like what, since uh, more than 20 years, I guess. Well, maybe 20 years. Something like that. Let's, let's keep it at 20 years. So let's go, for no let's go for a normal character. Let's go for the druid. Oh man, I think... I think this is my Good day. most favorite Diablo uh, game. Well, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. But some say that Diablo, the lord of... Oh. No, Sorry. Greetings, stranger. <laughs> I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent. No oh, greetings, stranger. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised to see your kind. Four times the charm. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that. 
But a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Sure. Geed is a wandering merchant of questionable character who is traveling along with my caravan to the east. He will buy and sell most anything. He's greedy, but his wares are beyond reproach. I would suggest keeping both eyes open when you deal with him. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Right, so if I'm correct, um, the rogue you can play in the first game comes from these people. If we could only find out how Andariel has managed to corrupt our sisters, then perhaps we could drive out the evil clouding their minds. Hmm, maybe, maybe. So let's activate always running, for that is faster. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geet, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Right, so here's the trade. We have no money. And I think it was Keith the one where you could... Uh, gamble. Yes. Yeah, you can. Geet, you can gamble. So you can pay a certain amount of money for a certain item, and you get a, a random magical item for that it. That old coot cane is as crazy as a wet quill rat. I hear he survived whatever happened in Tristram. Personally, I wouldn't trust a thing he has to say. Ah, good old cane. I like Cain. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andario. Poor Reeve's all right, I guess. He seems too serious most of the time. I haven't really talked to him all that much. Right, she can... We can trade and repair with her as well. So what I like more about this game than the first game is you have skill trees. So each character is more unique. Um, so we have elemental spells we have shape shifting and we can summon stuff if we want to now i am mostly going to focus on shape shifting with this character because that's that is more cool it's more cool for me i like i like that a lot more and that makes the the skill trees makes the characters more unique comparison to each other in the first game Hello. they started with different things and i think the um wizard sorcerer magic user type from the first game was started with one spell but in the end it didn't really matter as much i am akara high priestess of the sisterhood of the sightless eye i welcome you traveler to our camp but I'm afraid I can offer you but 
poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the Dark Labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the Great Eye watch over you. Alright, so we have a quest, the Den of Evil. So let's head out. Now, this game also... Uh, so it begins. Aye, so it begins. Also, this game, compared with the first one, um, replenishes all the enemies if you leave the game. The map stays. But all the enemies are replenished, so you can do some more grinding. And in the first game, that was not the. Uh, that didn't happen. So here you can grind much more if you are a bit stuck. You can grind for items, you can grind for, for levels. We've already found a magical ring. Identify. Plus one dexterity. This is our gold. Dead rope, arrows. Since we don't have anything, we just take everything we can find. At some point, uh, we need some board of skulls to get back to town. But we can get a tomb. Um, a scroll is normally one slot, but you can get a tomb which is two slots, which can act as a, uh, oh, we can just put more things in it. Now we found a hand axe, and I regret using the scroll of dexterity for the ring. Because at low level, those scrolls are quite expensive. I think they are like 100 gold a piece or something. So either we find a scroll, there's the evil orbs, or we, uh, we try to gather more money. Alrighty. So I, I remember something like these eagle orbs. These um, orbs can be f super valuable. Now we got some stats. I'm not really sure what to focus on yet with uh, with Druid. Seems dexterity is 20 base, strength is 15, vitality is 25, energy 20. Let's go first with skill. Let's go turn into a werewolf. There we go. Werewolf. Nice. Cool. And let's get some more decorating. I think that's wise. So notice we miss, we still missed a lot. 
A werewolf gives out max life, max stamina, only lasts for 40 seconds. Casting delay 1 second, mana cost 15 to replenish. If we do it, it's mega slow. Attack rating plus 50% and 20% attack speed. Well, I, too bad we uh, we couldn't use the... I screwed up the werewolf duration, but I bet we'll get another level quite soon. Can we, oh, if we, oh, this is a lot better. More chance, or same chance to block, but plus 10% enhanced defense and more durability. We can have a uh, secondary weapon that saves us uh, carrying capacity. <laughs> Cracking sound is the sound of a trap. I remember that. I was always careful with the, with the cracking sounds. So let's find this den of evil. Healing a mana potion. Nice. Strangling gas. Yeah, you can uh, throw. You have throwing consu consumables. I don't think anyone ever uses those. Maybe for a challenge run or something, but. <laughs> So we have all our mana back, so if needed, if we want, we can uh, become a werewolf again. Come back here. Get back here, you've fallen. Already found a, sh a, a gem. Keep the map up. We also found a healing thing. We found armor. Yes. Now we are undefeatable. No one can stop us. Alright, so let's disable the always running. So on the mini map, our quest has been. Flagged. So here's the den of evil. So let's clear the surrounding area first. Superior short sword, but it's a grey quality. So that means the durability is quite low. But the damage is a lot higher. And it's ethereal, so it cannot be repaired. Now, something I forgot a lot of times was uh, before I got the before I got the tome was to make sure I have plan I have at least one scroll of down portal in my inventory. So we have to remember to keep that. Right. So let's get some strength. New skill, like a trophy. Passive improves duration and life when in werewolf or were bear form. Duration plus 40 seconds. Yes, please. So now we have an 80 seconds werewolf. And that is quite nice. It's double the, double the duration. 
and with skills, it's uh, with level three, it uh, becomes 120 seconds, so full two minutes. Right, so let's kill these fellas. Flavi. Turn back. I can tell that you need more experience to fight safely in the next wilderness. Halt. No. Turn back. Halt. You should complete Akara's quest before venturing further. Search for. No, we can we can deal. We can deal with everything. We are the best. Maybe we can get a bit of uh, key. loot. Oh, I see there's a uh, special dude there. Excellent. Run away! See, we are just far too strong. I am overburdened. I am overburdened. Alright, so let's use it down portal scroll. Let's get a key. We will open this one as well, get some more money. I can't carry anymore. Uh, let's return to town. Kara, I remember something that Kara instantly heals you. Yeah, excellent. We also got a stash, which is pretty, which is pretty nice. Good evening. Let's go to Charcy. Charcy sell no car sells identify stuff. We we have to drag everything. So we're getting quite some money, which is nice. Like this orb, the other one was 10, but this orb is 199. This one is 10. The other one was 199 because um, why was it? Oh, because it had a um, skill bound to it. So let's put the put a gem in there. We have eight eight teleport scroll. We have eight key. We have four keys. Let's get one. Let's have four healing potions and two mana potions, just in case. We put a ruby in the chest. Let's go to a car. We still, oh, we can get domes. Always useful to have domes. So we have three down portal skulls, one skull for identify. We cost 80. Now we have four. Use one. Um, three to 13 damage, six to eight. But this is a ethereal short sword, so that sucks. We're going to sell the hand axe. Yeah, so she sells all kinds of stuff for paladins, sorcerers and necromancers. I think Charcy sells for the rest. They have a sash. Let's get the sash so we can equip more potions. So we don't really have to carry uh, more potions. Oh, we, 
He drank them. I'm, I'm used to selling with the right mouse button. Bear everything. 3 to 11, that is quite some damage. Spears are two handed. I'm not going to buy a bow. Right. So we are quite um, prepared already. We have found another light potion. So that's good. So let's head to the den of evil. Halt. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I can take care of myself. I am the best. So let's go into the den of evil. Kill all the monsters in the den. So, this is where evil hides. Yes. Like I say, fallen shaman. Shooting fireballs and resurrecting those fallen mongrels. Look, an a, a white superior shore sword, which is very excellent. It's a thing that does a tutu. Hmm. I think ethereal also makes it a lot better. It's a bit uh, too bad. Let's check this area. So one quality of life that has been added as well is out of pick up gold. So I'm not really used to yet. But it will be. Identify, thank you very much. And another shaman. Nice, just in time with the level up. I'm not going to grab those balls. I'm only going to grab at least superior weapons. New studs, let's get more dexterity for more decorating and let's get more I'm waiting for werebear mostly so let's get more lycan trophy uh, scale more max life more duration sounds like a good deal dagger but we found some keys since we can encounter locked doors we will we need keys or locked chests Sorry. But since we don't use the bow or crossbow we don't really mind we don't need to uh, grab the bolts Javelin, I just grab the potions. We don't really need to, or maybe accept two mana potions. Only grab the light potions to improve everything on our belt. Shaman first. Is there a 
resurrection is just quite annoying. Then just wait for the fallen to come to you, mostly. Now you might think, well, you can just go and uh, grind some experience from those fallen that get, res get resurrected. But joke's on you. You don't get anything. No additional loot. No additional experience. A spectral hit. Special zombie. Corpse fire. Now he's dead. Loser zombie. There we go. Town portal scroll. Always useful. Magic throwing knives. Magic armor. Ah, oh, crap, wrong button. Let's see. 16 defense and attacker stake 1. Attacker stake damage of 1. Let's throw it away. Let's identify the... Ooh. Plus 40% damage to demons, plus 38 to attack rating against demons, plus 2 poison damage over 2 seconds. Not a lot of damage. 3 to 13, 3 to 5. It's quite crap. Two enemies remaining. One. And that's two. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Is that all of them? Aye, that's all of them. So I remember, I've seen once that the uh, old speedrunners for this game um, always were trying to get a specific item from this. Uh, from the unique of this area and if they couldn't get it they would just reset the, reset the run so let us continue onwards let's just continue till the inventory is full then we return to town oh there's a way portal here rogue encampment sure Go to a car. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. Thank you. Right, so let's get more like a trophy. So now we have 120 seconds of transformation. So if we get Werebear, we do additional damage, additional defense, so that's quite a nice melee tanking. From there we can go to Maul, increase damage of each successive hit, attack, attack rating, attack speed, additional damage, stun length, nice. fire claws, more enemies with fiery claw attack. Attack rating, fire damage, receives bonus from Firestorm and Molten Boulder. Plus 22% fire damage per level. Oh, synergy bonuses. I didn't remember that was a thing. Shockwave, create a shockwave that stuns nearby enemies. Little bit of damage, but a nice stun length, and combined with Maul, more damage. Hmm. Hunger, less damage, higher attack rating, life steal, and mana steal. Oh, I don't think I'm going to look for. Uh, my rogue scouts have just, just reported an abomination, abomination in the monastery, monastery graveyard. graveyard. 
Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Sure, sure. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Well, let's sell this. Let's sell you. It's 9 out of 13 duration. So we might want to see if there's a different weapon. Hmm. Not convinced yet. Do we want a helmet? Nah. We'll find one. We just got started, so uh, plenty of plenty of places to look. The gold planes. Ooh, shrine. Elf shrine. Right. And a mana recharge shrine. <laughs> Bad. Bad woman. Bad dark hunters. Yeah, so when they hit me, they got the uh, little yellowish aura around their uh, body. That's the, that's the uh, what do you call it, Forn's ability. I believe if you try to do the a pacifist run, I, I remember something about being allowed to uh, kill only the magical zombie the first in the den of evil otherwise you can't get the loot and you have to hope you get a uh, forns item from it <coughs> So the rogues have been turned into demons. So they are not corrupted humans, but they are demons. I, I at least think these are the rogues, right? I would, I would guess these are the rogues. Be filling shrine. Amethyst. <laughs> a cap. Let's take the cap with us. Yeah, we still have four down port scrolls. Stony field. This will be the next area, I think. Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the cold plains. Yeah, so that means no going to the stony field yet. Cracked Qatar. I like the uh, with the expansion. You gain the um, assassin and the druid classes. They aren't in the ori original game. And I like the claw weapons. The assassin class uh, adds to the game. But I don't like the I don't like the assassin class. I think it's a bit lacking. Like I said, my favorite was the Amazon. Just the coolest. In. This might be the burial grounds. Yeah, kill blood raven. Planting the dead. How odd. 
So let's uh, finish up this area first. Probably get another level up from it. soonish I suppose don't think the superior cap nice and with more durability that's fine let's let's get more vitality so we have more stamina as well more life let's just get more like and trophy I don't know how much levels you can get in a skill. Death Advocates approaches. Oh, if that's the Advocate for Death. And he sucks. Oh, he's back. Werewolf time. <laughs> Werewolf kills all. Come here. Downboard scroll. Oh, there's another shaman. Bushy boss. I think I heard another sh Yeah, another shaman. Die. Short swords. Short identify. Thank you very much. Minor healing. Sash dagger. Nice. Light healing. Very useful. So let's upgrade our belt. Dark hunters. And we found a nice sash. We already have a set of strength, which gives one more strength than the one we found. Crappy dagger. Maybe 3 to 13, 2 to 14. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you. The wand might be useful since it has amplified damage. If it has a skill on it, it might be worth something. If it's, if it's skillless, uh, eh, worthless. Skillless equals worthless. Let's get the uh, mana recharge. Very good if you have mana shield. Otherwise, yeah, if you're mana happy, sure. For me, it's not that useful currently. Maybe later. I can do this. Die. Die. Come on. Hit them. Yes. Good job. Come on. Kill. So we are level 5, next level we will gain Werebear. We will sink some uh, points into that skill. Blah. Oh, out of stamina. Always a problem, stamina. And I'm not sure what it really adds to the game. Only if you're going to kite, it might uh, add some discomfort. But outside of guiding, everything, stamina never seems like a uh, addition. 
play. It's not like Dark Souls, Dark, Dark Souls or something where you have to use your stamina as a resource for offense and defense. That makes it a bit, uh, and since it's here only, well, you can run or you can walk. It's just a bit, eh. Kill, kill everyone. Another ring, nice. And a potion of light healing. Fighter ring, cold resist, sure. Always useful. Let's just explore this. There's a shaman inside the building. One gold inside. We want to risk our beautiful fur for one gold? Nah. They can have it. Come on, die. Ooh, there's a cave. And caves usually mean treasure. The cave. Excellent name. Maybe you say healing potion sometime. Let's say mana potion. We don't have a spare healing potion, but we can just choose one for my set one for my session. And the next time we find a healing potion, just pick it up. Will be uh, automatically put in in the sash. There we go. Nice little key. Scroll for identify. Always useful. Ready for battle. Now we're even better in combat. What's better than the best? Well, me. Strangulation potion is worth quite some. What I could tell. Let's kill these zombies. Or oh, we were empty-handed. Ah, better. So grab the healing potion. better gold enchanted doesn't matter just kill him eagle orb warmth and firebolt sounds expensive found two healing potions and a rejuvenation potion heals 30, 35 percent life and mana we'll save that one because those are quite valuable in boss fights Really valuable in boss fights, especially the um, of nation. Okay, well, a well restores everything. Spine spell on that spectacle hit. He's dead. So 
found a jewel and magical leather gloves. And another and two more reju rejuvenations. Ooh. Fallen shaman. Let's get rid of these fallen. Oh, things that are dead. Nice level up. I love going level up. It means I'm getting stronger. Let's go down portal. Don't mind if I do. Um, so let's do some dexterity and let's get werebear. Oh crap, wrong button. Did we change this? Like so. Alright, so now we get Werebear for 140 seconds. Ah, oh, much better. Oh, and equip the right weapon. Now we have 2 to 18 damage. A bit of bad luck in that 5 hits we only do deal 10 damage. Or 60. No, everything's possible. don't need to kill every creature. Just that since it's not the uh, quest. Light healing so we can restore the one we accidentally used. I think that will happen quite a lot more often. Identify this glass, glass of dexterity, nice. The jewel can wait. There's, it's, it's quite a big cave already. We can go up here as well. the uh, skeletons a little bit better. Come here. Dark Ranger. Ah, here's the way to level 2. If I remember correctly, the second level is most of the time a lot smaller. No, I uh, want to be a werebear. I don't want to be a. I don't want to be a stinking werewolf. Werebear for the win. Stone skin, play box the unclean. Dead. Very dead. Let's grab a mana potion. Let's replenish. I think there should be somewhere a um, special. Chest. Oh, it's 
guy then. That's like a champ. Amulets, nice. You see minor healing. Let's identify the amulet. Plus 17 attack rating. Very good, very good. You can still go south. I don't know why I'm disabling the minimap constantly. I think because I, I also play Titan Quest and I bound my map key to tap. You cannot have a minimap there. It's, it's map or no map. Big map. It's quite annoying, so I have to keep popping up the map. I'm here, stinking shaman. There is, there's a special chest. Sword, sword, and a guitar. There's some money. Skull of Town portal. Excellent. Grab the money here. Right. Well, there might be a little bit we haven't done. Floor above. Is it interesting to go there? Uh, I doubt it. But we can al always check. We can always check. I hear zombies somewhere. Same with the, uh, the key. The key also doesn't really add something, in my opinion. It's more of a discomfort. Because at some point you're rich enough to... Well, I think it happens quite fast. You're rich enough to always have keys. But you do need to sacrifice a... Inventory slot for it. Well, you already barely have inventory space. So that is a bit of a inconvenience. Think about it. Is it does it affect the game enough? Oh, that's annoying. Die. Oh, cool the enchanted force. Let's keep our health a bit up. We don't want to get taken down by a, a ring of cold. I am over. Yellow items. Ooh. Let's get back. 
we don't have any skulls of identify. So that's too bad, but we can just Greetings. buy a lot of them. Reset stat and skill points. Hmm. So the wand is 608. Uh, there goes The Eagle Orbs 273, and the rest needs to be identified. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, as it go until we get 5 things in our inventory. Short stuff. I think this will be uh, quite valuable. Mm, the short sword isn't something to write home about. 5000, if we save it in the next act, it will be worth more. Or let's just sell. Eventually, you have more than enough gold. I remember you will get uh, so much gold that you will have to uh, share it with offline characters. They, ex they expand it on stash space as well. This is very nice. So let's fill this one up with rejuvenation potions because you can, if I remember correctly, and I think I do. In Act 2, you Good can you. Um, combine them to better potions. I doubt there's a better weapon. 1 to 7 plus lightning. Suck at it if we add gems to it. Might be worth considering. The point is if you deposit your cash, you won't lose it when you die. Right, so if we put this into a weapon, this will add two, three to four fire damage, and this will add 40 attack rating. A 40 attack rating, that's quite nice, it's more than 20%. I don't think we need it yet. Let's just, I'm, j I'm I'm one of those people who uh, mostly saves their consumables and one time only items. Well, let's head back to town. Let's. Well, we can identify these, of course, here. The Dread First Qatar. Ooh, it's, it's 22 defense against R16. Plus one strength and it repairs itself. Self repairing armor. Nice. So let's grab the portal back and then we'll call it a day. Um, if I want to get. Uh, if I want to start a guitar, I already have a yellow guitar now. What you need? Let's sell you. Let's repair all equipment. Nothing here to get. We have plenty of. Uh, well, we need to get some potions. Replenish because we used a few. The order welcomes you. Like so. Alright, next time we'll continue onwards, onwards to Blood Raven. So thank you for joining me again, and see you later.